So Eureka is a wonderful program that provides opportunities for Wake Forest undergraduates to get involved in research over the summer. You can read textbooks, you can read about experiments, but until you actually do experiments, you don't really understand the approaches that are used to generate the data that's in the textbooks. My experiment is based on plant tissues, which is from tomatoes. I'm trying to learn how tomatoes are performed under the heat stress and more specifically, it's the reproductive part for tomatoes to make fruit. You have to experience a fertilization process, and this fertilization process is really sensitive to heat. My experiment is like I collect the pollen and I see how the pollen grows under like normal temperature and the temperature that we regard it as heat stress. Over the course of uh, the last 10 years, a number of undergraduates have been involved. Just last month, a manuscript was accepted for publication with four Wake Forest undergraduates as authors on the publication because they contributed data that showed up in the paper. And Essentially, we try to figure out what is changed in the tomato by the heat and what can we do about it. Undergraduates who do research get to use the best equipment, uh, equipment that people at other institutions don't let undergraduates anywhere near. KE uses a confocal microscope that really um, provides incredible temporal and spatial resolution to images. We currently have a transgenic line, which means that we put a gene that can allow the plant to produce a protein that can fluoresce when it binds to the calcium which means that there are like little bulbs in the pollen tube. It can just shine and tell us where do we have more calcium ion compared to other regions. Ultimately, we hope that some of these experiments will go beyond just um, telling us how things work, but helping us engineer or breed plants so that they are more resilient to climate change. Uh, we're trying to understand why that high temperature causes the seeds to no longer form. That has huge implications for feeding the world as the climate um, changes.